Hello, you're through to the police. I, I found my neighbour, PC Henry Jacobson, in 12 Flandoff Road. Yes, and what's happened? I, I, I think he's been stabbed. There's blood everywhere. I can't stop it. Take your time. We're finding your location now. She did it. She really did it. Oh, I knew she was dangerous. Who? Did you see who stabbed the officer? Yes, her name's Natalie Lennox. She's even taken the door off its hinges. She took off towards the train station. He, he stopped breathing. Please, please help me! Okay, there's an ambulance and a police unit approximately one minute away. They'll help you. Try to stay calm and stay on the line until they get there. I'm trying! I just don't know what to do! Please hurry! to the murder of a man believed to be in his 20s. The young man was stabbed once in the chest here at his home on Flandock Road. Emergency services treated him but he was pronounced dead on the scene. Police say there appears to be forced entry into the home. A woman is currently being questioned in connection with the murder. The man was well known and respected in the area as a member of the police force. Locals have been here paying tribute and expressing their shock. Lennox, please calm down and tell me exactly what happened. I got home late from work and I saw the door being kicked in. I went into the kitchen and that's where I saw Henry. And uh, what did you see? He was just lying there. There was so much blood. Yes. And you said you heard noises in the upstairs of the property. Yes, they killed Henry. If I'd been home at my usual time, I'd have been killed too. Hey. And who might they be? The burglars. I heard them on the stairs. I had to run. They would have gotten me too. The upstairs of the premises were disturbed. Why didn't you alert a neighbour or phone the police? I tried. No one was home at the time. Not even that Shannon girl from next door. I grabbed my bag to find my phone when it must have fallen out. I was running to this home as you picked me up. Hmm. So tell me, Natalie, why was the murder weapon in your possession? What? The knife that was used to kill P.C. Henry Jacobson was in your bag, Natalie. So, I'll answer you one more time. Did you kill P.C. Henry Jacobson? No, I didn't! I didn't do it! It was in my hand. It wasn't in my hand. I couldn't have. And now time for your local news update.
South Wales Police have begun an investigation into an alleged assault on an elderly man in his home in Cardiff, in what is thought to have been a violent robbery. The 70-year-old is in serious but stable condition in hospital. No arrests have been made so far, and pressure is mounting on the local police force, as it is believed a criminal gang may be responsible. This is the third such incident in so many months in the area, and community groups have expressed their dismay at the sudden rise in the levels of crime on our streets, and have called on local MPs to take action. We're now joined by... she was doing. They found her in a B&B with no memory of why she was there. Out of body amnesia they call it. She could have got away with anything. Can't you just put all this shit away for once? Henry's my book and you know that. Yeah, but I don't need this at home. Need what? This! The constant questions and theories of stuff that you don't even understand. Do you know what I had to do today? That man on the radio. I had to tell that man's family what had happened to him. You don't even care. There are all these questions that it needs to stop, okay? Don't you think you're being a bit dramatic? Am I? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's dramatic that I feel like I should be able to come home and feel like I'm not being interrogated at the police station. That's I, dramatic. I didn't know you felt this way. Why wouldn't you say anything before? I have! You have. I have! You, have. you have. never listen to me! You must got your nose in one of those bloody books of yours! I'm invisible to you unless you've got a bloody question! It's just pointless! Well, it was your idea I wrote this book in the first place! It wasn't an obsession to begin with! Well, fuck you! Drug offences. Oh, don't forget what you did before you joined the force. You were on anything you could fight. Only difference is you didn't get caught. No, the only difference is I got my act together. Right. Yeah, you did, to be fair. None of us did, though, did we? You're not still hanging around like are you? <laughs> no. Uh, of course not. Anyway, you're off Robin noses nowadays. But do you know anything about that? On the grass, Henry. Probably all rumours anyway, uh, not facts. Tell me about this uh, psycho girlfriend of yours then. She's not psycho, alright? She's just a little bit intense right now. I don't think I can take her anymore. <laughs> I told you six months ago, Henry, and I'll tell you again, she's just not good for you. You need to get rid of her. I love her. I did love her. Maybe when she's Finish writing this stupid book, she'll go back to the way she used to be. Did love her. Henry, do you hear yourself? Did love her. She's driving you crazy. Yeah, well, I've been stressed at work and stuff. Uh, stop trying to justify yourself. Do you notice when you went out of the house, she didn't come after you? She's probably there, working on her book, not thinking about you. Yeah, you probably you know I know I'm right. From what you've told me, she seems like a right nutter. Come on, let's go out and drink. Oh. 
was almost off his hinges when I got there. I went into the kitchen, and that's where I found Henry. He wasn't moving. I don't think he was moving. I tried to call for help, but I could hear the noises coming on the stairs. There was a group of them. I think. Oh, come on, Natalie, think. Think! I must have just grabbed a knife to protect myself. The noises, they were just getting louder. I had to run. I had no choice! I saw her. She was running towards the train station. I know what she did. The police station's over the rail bridge. Shannon, you don't even know me. We barely spoke. I know what you were like. Stop lying to yourself, Natalie. I heard all those arguments you two had. The questions about police procedures for murders. Talking about motives. Poor Henry never stood a chance with you. I questioned her profusely. And each time, she changed her story. I don't remember what happened. I told you that! The knife was in my hand. The knife wasn't in my hand. Oh, my phone must have fallen out of my bag. Convenient lies, if you ask me. You said the upstairs was disturbed. Do you think I could take a door off its hinges? Clearly staged, I believe. We found files full of research about Agatha Christie. Perhaps she was inspired by one of her novels. You are lying! How dare you! You don't even know me! I loved Henry. Loved him? You were driving him away. You know, he wrote to me when I was inside, saying so he was over the moon when he met you. Things are moving so quickly. You said you wanted to become a crime writer. You said that you were focusing so much time on your book that it was becoming an obsession. He never told me how he felt about it all. How could you not have noticed? Storming out of his own home because he couldn't take it anymore. And did you have to run after him? Or, or talk to him about it? No. Didn't think so. You know, for months, months, I tried telling him to break up with you, and I was, I was finally getting through to him. It's just a shame he didn't make his mind up sooner. Natalie. You believe me, don't you? I didn't do this to you, I swear. I believe you. Just tell them the truth. Tell them what happened. Tell them the truth. I don't remember. It's a blur to me. Calm yourself, Miss Lennox. What? Miss Lennox, please. That is enough. You have given your testimony. Now calm down and stay quiet. Members of the jury, you have all heard the evidence in this case. And now please take a short time to discuss your verdict.
Now the head juror will please open the envelope and read the verdict on your fellow juror's behalf. Your Honour, we, we the jury unanimously find the defendant Natalie Lennox. Guilty, not guilty. Perhaps you should not judge a book by its cover. Sophie, 